What's good YouTube? Alex here and today I'm back again with another My Top 5 video and this time I'm going to be doing another one of my homies and I'm going to go ahead and let him introduce himself right now. So here's the man. Hey what's good YouTube? Bernard here and today I'm going to let you guys take a walk with me through my closet my top 5. Now let's get to it. At number 5 we've got the Kobe 7 in the Olympic colorway from the 2012 Summer Olympics. I bought this shoe for retail, which at the time was $140. Huge Kobe fan, huge Los Angeles Lakers fan, man. And it's a special shoe to me, man. First ever Kobe cop. Um, love the colorway, man. Don't, don't get no better. Red, white, and blue. Um, just a dope sneaker, man. Kobe 7, Olympic colorway. And number four, we've got the Pure Platinum, the Bron 10. Also caught these for retail, $180. Uh, bought these last year, the same day that the Great Fives came out. Um, I remember on, on the day that I copped them, my car broke down on my way to the mall. <laughs> and and after, after I get my car fixed, my windshield wipers went out. So the guy, and finish line, still have my size 11 and a half on hold in the great fives. So when I got there, I was like, man, I've had a rough day. I might as well double up. I had no intentions to buy these when I bought them. <laughs> had no intentions at all. So I was like, well, I'm down here, I might as well double up. So I copped these. Um, the LeBron 10 is a very dope sneaker. Very dope sneaker, man. The backward swoosh on it, the diamond cuts and everything. And this shoe right here, man, it's just wild, bro. I mean, check this out, man. You know, you got the, the hits of blue, to pink to purple you know the infrared swoosh and everything just a dope sneaker man probably ever wear these because you really can't match you in the look, look at this sneaker right man what can you match this with man but uh no it's just wavy man it's just wavy bron 10 pure platinum Alright, number three, we've got the Christmas KD5. This is my first cop this year. I bought them on eBay for, I want to say like $135. Um, dope sneaker, man. I remember watching, a couple years ago, uh, OKC played Miami on Christmas Day, and KD had these on and gave Bron buckets. He gave Bron work. Bron still won, hey, but KD gave work, though. And I remember seeing the sneakers and I was like, man, I got to cop these, man. Because I was all in on the LeBrons, on the Christmas LeBron 10s. I was all in on those. But once I seen KD rocking these on court, hey, no brainer, man. Had to cop them. So um, it's a dope shoe, man. I mean, like this right here, this pattern on here, it's supposed to represent a video game. Because that was one of KD's favorite gifts he used to get as a kid were uh, video games. So um, it's wavy, man. I mean, I don't know if you can see from all the way back there, but... The KD logo right here, it's got a 35 and like a lightning bolt. And that's just, it's crazy, man. It's a crazy shoe, crazy detail. And it's number three, the KD5. Number two, got the bread fours. Hey, this goes without saying, it don't get no more classic than a pair of bread fours. I mean, the history behind this sneaker, legendary. Jordan used to give the Cavs work in these shoes right here. Craig Elo, bless his soul, man. 
He used to catch fades every time Jordan Lacey's up, man. The shot over Craig Elo, 1989. Legendary, man. I mean, the, the 25th anniversary of the shot was a few weeks ago. And man, it just goes without saying, these shoes get more play from me than anything. I rock, if I'm leaving the crib and don't know what to rock, these, these go with anything, man. And I mean, it's just an all time classic silhouette. Like I said, it don't get no better than a pair of Brad Fours. And it's my number four. Jordan 4 in the bread colorway. Alright, number one. Chicago ones. All time. All time favorite Jordan number is the one. It's Oh man, you know, you know, it's, it's it's classic, man. That's all we do around here. All we do is classic. All we do is wavy. It. It's oh man, Jordan dropped 63 on Larry Bird's face in these sneakers. Like I said, I'm a diehard Lakers fan, so I hate the Celtics. So he dropped. Oh my God! After the game, Bird said, "God was disguised as Michael Jordan that day." That tells you everything you need to know about the sneaker silhouette right here. Love ones. I feel if, I feel like if you're a sneaker collector, you gotta have you a pair of ones. I mean, this is the shoe that started the sneaker craze right here, man. So, like I said, don't get no more classic than this. Like I said, that's all we do is classic. Chicago one. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and uh, follow us on social media. The links will be in the description if you want to hit them with the plug. Yeah, Instagram, get at me. From the 615 with love. It's spelled exactly how it sounds. Twitter, skinny andretti. Skinny underscore andretti. Sounds spelled exactly how it sounds. Hey, yo, get at me. Yeah, but by the time this video came out, the car mines came out today. So hopefully I get those. And the day we're recording this was the day after that massive restock on Nike store. So if you copped anything, let us know down in the comments. Show, sure, show. Sure. And I also want to give a shout out to the cameraman right here from the last video, Adion. He's back. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for watching. And until next time, YouTube. Thanks. Peace.